This box twenty five hundred. This box one thousand dollars cost. So thirty five hundred. We're gonna do a video on that now. And you probably see the aftermath here shortly. And this Lego employee mail with apron is has no price guide, so it doesn't sell. And uh, yeah, two fifty at one oh five here with an air misprint so take it for what it is all right so the video is filmed and done um, there's a cloud city set plus this and a few more things I put probably 15 things for sale on Bricklink already and put a couple in the eBay photos for the rest is going to Brickworld Chicago this old spider-man Two of them, and I might I might just part these. I don't think these really sell at the Brick Worlds. I might just part those out the brand new. That's where my one bin. Yeah, that's a couple extra pieces. I needed some some of those heads. Those are getting expensive. Those Captor X heads. So actually, I think I just needed one head to complete one. Cause I didn't want to pay like 12, 15 bucks for a head. So get this in my van. It's been like 90 minutes since I last filmed, so just been going, 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 not stopping. And uh, I need to take a break after I have lunch. And it is uh, almost 3 o'clock. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna. These are the rebuilds from the eBay. I gotta get those listed. I'm gonna go get a snack real quick. I'm quitting at 4, head to the post office, but yeah, long day. Alright, this is for today. This is after 4. Got all the poly bags priced and ready to go. Tomorrow's project is all these CMFs in the box. I gotta organize them. And then I have to build a stand kind of like this. It's, it's wider though. And I'm gonna have it a little bit taller to put the CMFs on. Hoping to fit 32. We'll see. Tuesday morning, my last full day to prepare for Brick World Chicago is upon me. eBay is done. So the $50 Possessed Lloyd in there, a $30 some dollar autograph football card, and some other stuff. And these are my Brick Brooklyn orders. I gotta go to Chicago. And these are Brooklyn orders I received yesterday. And I built this last night. It's the back of it. I'm gonna put this on my stand. In Chicago, I can fit eight CMS at the stand at each row, so there's 40 total I can fit on five rows there. So that's what I'm going to try to use this time. I have another stand that's not so good in my bin, and I thought this looked better, so so that works out. Anyway, uh, I gotta get to Berkeley Brick I'll see what happened there. All right, June 14th, 11 on Brick Pink, 3 on Brick Hollow is like amazing. I mean, at zero over 48 hour period. Anyway, 409 total items, 153 lots, so that's easy, quick and easy, 315. And I do have one more that's like a seven lot order. It's going to Chicago. That's not in the list here. I'll have to pack up as well. All right, has a note, Chicago. That's right, it's going to Chicago. 241, get this one. Trying to build the king. 695 is one. So strong man. I did have a question, somebody bought a bunch of these from me and they're like, these are all damaged in the same spot. Did you see, there's a mold mark in that corner, one in the back, 
in one of the sides, so I had to tell them about molding marks. You see there's the three things underneath. It's not really focusing, but they're just molding marks. Still new. 1855. I have to cut these out. 18 plumes. I just put this for sale. It's in number seven. Let me grab this while we're here. And then, uh, it should be on the top somewhere. It's a cool poly bag. One of the better city ones I've seen. There it is, we'll cut on 18 of those and going to Chicago. All right, brick link, brick out orders, eBay orders. It just hit 7 a.m. And today, well, in about 50 hours, we'll be actually leaving for Brick World Chicago or so. So, uh, those bids have to come out <laughs> in the next few hours. I'm going to clean up the few Brooklyn orders I received here. And a couple things at my desk. And then start building minifigs, get this out. i got to fix my build the minifig stations. They're not too bad. i got to fill them up. And bring some extras because Chicago do not want to not bring enough, that's for sure. All right, we got some parts in. Where's my pen? There we go. Okay, so what do we got? We needed six, we need actually says five, but we needed six of these. And I thought I only ordered five, but there's six in here, so one of them had a little damage, so maybe that's why threw an extra one in. It's not not terrible to be where you shouldn't sell it. Uh, let's see. So we needed two of those. So there must be another set for these. Because, let's see. I have well, two of each side, but there's only that and we already checked it off. Uh, we needed one of those, which is coming from someone else. I don't see it here. This I'm going to have to take from this order, though. The two. I didn't feel like looking for them. I might have some. <laughs> but I needed all four of the white windows. So we're going to mark that off. So we know they're here. There's two of them. Oh, let's see. I, I ordered that already. I needed four of these wheels. And we got five, six, seven, what? There's four. I don't think I paid for seven. But there's seven of them? Eight of them. Whoa. Did I buy eight? Maybe I bought eight because I knew another set needed them. So that's good. Uh, no image available. So what do we need here? We just got it waiting on that. These parts are all ordered. They, I might have them, I just got sick of looking. <laughs> they don't have extras in the end that I can... I, I plan on doing this more often, putting together old sets, so I'm going to start stockpiling parts that I know go to them. Uh, or parting them out too, I don't know. So just that. We have the 100 centimeter string on the way. I have that here, I just haven't put it in here. I have a 35 centimeter. So that's almost there. So put those parts away, and we let's see you in Chicago. That's right, David. We'll be there. Hope to see you there. It sends me free torso and free bags, and they. <laughs> a long story. Watch it. They watch the video here. Watch the vlog, and uh, watch me opening uh, torsos packed very, very nicely. So they wouldn't get damaged, but that takes me a lot of time to open. So this is what we get. Instead of like one bag per every item almost, we get four. And that's a bunch of extras. <laughs> it's nice. Thank you. So I'm going to let whatever wormholes I fall down just go. So that last order had two Indian heads in it. So I just went and built seven Indians. And they just go right into these bags. Hoping by the end of the day these bags will be busting full. This one is, you know, pretty close to the top. This one, I 
guess it's almost the same as that one now. I need about 75, 85, 90, 100 more figures, and I'd be, I'd be happy. I'm set to go. I just want to just, just stuff I know I don't have really for sale in my bins right now to take. Like I have, no, I don't have any Indians, so now we do. Just gonna try to go through. I'm just basically gonna at some point today, after I sort these, not these parts. Those are accessory parts, not these. But these are like superhero. It's all superhero. Um, this looks like random good stuff. All Star Wars. I'm gonna put all this away, and then I'm gonna go bin by bin. What do I want to build? Master Chen. Add a cape. Probably can build three or four of him. I don't know if I have one of him, but I'm gonna at least build one or two if I can. Ronin, and then this is Ronin and that Klaus guy in there. So many Jago stuff, but yeah, it's a lot, a lot I can do. The bins are out. My first step is getting sure I have enough plastic bags. Because every sale I usually put it just uh, in a three by four inch one, typically. If there's like four minifigs. That's pretty standard. I have the, the four by four ones there. And I'll have a bigger ones. And also, I use this from the, the duffel bag I got from all that uh, Legoland uh, stuff. I use it from the bigger plastic, like, shopping bags in there. Alright, the time is flying by. I think it's early as well. It's still 1.30, so i got two and a half hours of going hard at it. got my bin from under my desk, so I collect things. It's dumped out here. Um, what did I just finish? This is the job for tonight, the opening up these Looney Tunes, and then we have Series 22 upstairs and the Muppets upstairs, like a hundred of each need to be opened. We'll do that tonight as, as a family. Got this. That price is, I need a new price for that. That's for my previous shows, but Chicago is very expensive. Insanely expense, expensive to go to this. And I hate uh, charging higher prices, but some things I have to change. It just doesn't make sense. Um, I have hard, deep thoughts of not doing conventions because of that. But anyway, we're doing this one. We are going full on on it. Got my uh, build the mini fixation. These are staying the same price, two for five. I love that price. Or about just three bucks for one. These are all the parts I've been gathering. Um, I just filled up all the accessories. I'm gonna put this, put this back under my desk. Uh, I just, yeah. And I, I re restocked my accessory bin here. Um, three parts for a dollar. So that, that's ready to go. And then I'm starting a bin for refills just so that more accessories, I don't think I'll need more, but just in case. And then I'm gonna put heads, legs, bodies, hairs, helmets in here. Just uh, in different bags, as if I ever need to refill. I'm gonna refill these now too. Those are like bursting full. But I'll have three days open. I don't know how how busy it'll be on Friday with just the attendees there. But um, I put my accessories right here. I'll keep on going. What I'm doing? I used to have a shark like shark and bike bin, and animals and bikes and stuff bin. But I'm just gonna put these in with my four for ten bin. Whatever makes sense, so I'm bagging those up. Everything goes bagged, all the tons of these. There's just some city stuff in those bins. Uh, but I try to make them more desirable ones, not just common things, but even like this hoth in there. So, you know, I want to sell it. I got, I got two of these guys to go. So all my big stand that look cool up there. I don't have too many big things. Bricklink orders are adding up over here. People that I got to take, because they're five now, there's five right here. Um, I was into an Instagram post saying, until Wednesday night you can place orders if you need something for Cold Chicago. But uh, maybe I'll do that. And I've got to clean this up, and I'm going to fill this bin up and do those. And what's on my list? i got to check my list here. Uh, so I have the damaged stuff. I haven't touched that. I may or may not do that. I'll show you that later. Build the minifig I'm on now. Open blind bags. We'll do that later tonight. Did a lot of them know. Build the stand. I can cross that off. That is done. Make sure I pack things. I gotta order bubble wrap before I go, so it's here. A few days after I get there. Where Star Wars is, gotta pack that. 
What is that? Just a reminder, I am not a collector. I've, I've looked in the mirror and it seems like I'm becoming a collector, so I gotta reverse that, that trend. All right, build the mini fixations are stocked to the brim. Not to the brim, but it's you can't do it to the brim because then you can't see what's down there. Stuff first falling over the other one, so you gotta you gotta leave them about eighty percent full, seventy five maybe. The legs are kind of full because I only use two for legs and then four for torsos because legs you see not many options. Just pick a color, but torsos a lot different, a lot of different options. And uh, there we go. And then this is my refills bucket this time. I've never prepared a refill bucket like this. Usually I just dump all the parts in the same bin, <laughs> all mixed together. But got the heads and the hairs all separated. So don't really think I'll really need to use that too much, but just in case. I've never been to Chicago. I don't know what to expect. Although, although people say bring everything you own, which would be difficult for me. Anyway, what's next? It is 2.15. I'm going to clean this, put this away. What was next? I forget what was next. Uh, build the minifig. The damage parts, i got to do that. All right, getting all our old damaged, wounded parts ready. I got the labels printed for those. I'm sitting here throwing minifigs into this bin from the stuff that I had sorted over here. I'm just completing and adding accessories. I didn't get to that, but that's tomorrow. I'm hoping to get to that, a lot of that. So, so like, just checking them out. She looks good. She doesn't really need a, I usually would give her a cell phone, but we're not gonna give her anything. She just gets tossed in. I need to fix that guy up. Not sure who this is. It's got a big logo there. All right, did good. I cleared up that whole tray I had out there. This thing keeps turning. The wrong ways. Anyway, I'll talk like this. Um, yeah, got a, a built a Buzz Lightyear, some Patricks, different things, and uh, we're upside down now. Got all these bad parts there. So upside down. That's how my uh, thing wants to work. Upside down. Cool. We are into the final day of prep for Brick World Chicago. I'm pretty much ready. I'm just gonna build mini fix today and sort a few things away. But everything else I think is done. So I'm really happy about that. So we got, this is our eBay sales. A few items. A few cards. And we get on a brick link. I got one more order for Brick World Chicago to take. It's only 15 lots, $40 order, but it's for another uh, displayer. All right. This is a Cloud City Boba Fett. It is a mint condition one as well. You've just seen in a previous video I just put out. Um, the stuff I'm bringing at Brick World Chicago. Well, this one is not going to Chicago. It has actually been sold. It's actually going about two miles from, or two hours from my house. Actually, the, the city we bought our our uh, car, our passenger van that we use, and they requested one of these. That's definitely a, definitely do that for them. All right, box. Fully insured it, signature. That's the cost to me. They have free shipping because they're paying a high price for this. And, uh, I'm not a collector. Just let it go. Just let it go. It's gone. It's officially gone, but I still have one. I still have one. And I don't know if I'll have it for much longer. We will see. What we did on Bricklink and Brick Isle, this is not including the uh, what I'm taking to the convention because it's not in the paid status. So it's only eight Brick Links, one Brick Isle. 63 lots. This looks like a normal normal day during this May and June summer slowdown session. Um, but yeah, I cranked my sale back Monday morning, so and because uh, I'm kind of busy doing other stuff like building minifigs for Brickworld, 
That's the goal. That is definitely the goal today. Until about two o'clock. The latest and we're gonna It's gonna be like eighty five here. It's our warmest day of the year. Head by the water, get some ice cream, just take some time off before we head out tomorrow morning, so let's get this pulled. Done shipping. I will be shipping Thursday morning um, as well because I'm 6 30 and I'm done. We'll be leaving for a few more hours after that time tomorrow. So I do have this one last order that's pickup. Uh, yeah, 16 lots 564. I'm just going to pull it through here and get it done. I'm going to start trying to hit the space bar. I'm not using the pro the program anymore. We'll get it done. All right, just launched my vlog at 7 a.m. First one in two weeks, so now I'm gonna basically just grab it bag by bag, dump it out here, and build what I can, keep what I can, things like that. So Let's see what happens. Didn't even start on the Star Wars yet, I realized, oh, I gotta rebuild my uh, cards in the last two days on my eBay store. So, first one I did, Indiana Jones, Marion. And then I got, I had to go look for parts, and then I went over to my minifix organization over there and had a whole bin like this full of them. So, I sorted them all away. Putting those back for Prince of Persia, that needs like help when I get back from Chicago. I gotta build. The rest of those and get rid of the bad stuff and put some stuff on Berkeley because uh, Indiana Jones is starting to fill up after that as well. Uh, and then I create all these for Brick Road. Some pretty cool stuff in here. These guys, I love these guys. Got two of those. Uh, I found one kernel. So I got the air, airline mechanic with that awesome, the original muscle torso that they ever made. And this is Colonel, dude. So, awesome. Throw that in the bag. That's a good start to the morning. It's not even 9 a.m. All right, just finished uh, rebuilding. Everything that sold, and in the process, got a few more things ready. All right, this third uh, box that goes here, it's always on the bottom of Indiana Jones and Castle stuff. Just thought I'd look into it. Because I rarely ever go in here and uh, I'm just questioning whether any of this stuff is for sale. And the first two items I looked at, which I had four of these in here, and I guess I took all the rest out. And I had uh, three, three of these elephants, and so I searched my uh, store for Series 18, and they're not there. <laughs> go figure. I bet you there's a lot of stuff I have in my stuff that is not for sale on eBay. I've never actually audited <laughs> my boxes. And here, every once in a while I'll go in the back of like one of these, which typically, um, if I don't alphabetize things, like I don't do the Indiana Jones, like this, I'm gonna look up this one. Because that usually sold a lot. He may be all right, I guess I can look it up real quick. It's pretty quick to help I do is plug in the uh, set number that's why I have these cards uh, I use that a lot for, on these so 7627 let's search it see that's not even for sale in my store for some reason so that's going to my photo bin uh, 7623 I don't know how that happens but he's he's for sale so we're good there um, let's see if there's any in the some of these are kind of randomly weird. Pepperoni used to sell a lot of them. Let's look up those three. Six, seven, three, six. Sometimes I do end up jacking up the price a little bit just to... So pepperoni is not even on there. Pepperoni. Ronnie. It's Ronnie. So he's not for sale. I should just edit, audit my stuff. Six, seven, three, nine. So six seven three nine Sky Lane, she's for sale, and this guy is two zero two hundred. He's for sale. So the found one there. I've done enough. He goes back for photos. Nice. 
very time consuming process, but put away tons of Star Wars stuff. This is what, this is where most of it goes. You know, it, there's Star Wars up here, so all of this is Star Wars, and this one, this one has stuff in the middle, but Star Wars is just down here at the, and then it starts again, um, this drawer, and then right there, stuff right there. So that's all done. We did pretty well. I gotta complete some other things. I don't need to complete that. I'll put that away. Um, so I have I have one other leg for this guy. I almost could be like two of them, but I can make one of him. So I'll well just put that away. Just hoping to find another leg as I kept going. So I just have to find stuff for a few. I found her hair. That was awesome. She needs stuff. Oh, he needs an arm. So. Just got to get all the stuff I need to complete that I wanted to complete. It's not complete. He needs legs. And he needs legs. So, but overall, I got him rubber banded to see if his head will stay on. <laughs> that darn rubber head. No, I was going to do another lay. I made three of these slave layers. So, good stuff. I just added some more Star Wars. Almost done. Uh, I'm just going to continue today. I think we're gonna, it's like 12.30, I think we're gonna head out in half an hour to go just hang out, have a good time, and I might come back and do a few more later tonight as I finish up closing up the bins. I just don't feel like good anymore. I think I'm ready. I'm just gonna finish all Star Wars. And so this is, so these three bins are all the three Lego stands in there. And this is my built a minifig station, those are the CMFs for the stand that I just built and saran wrapped in there. Um, accessories bin and just extra poly bags. There's my setup bin here. I still have to get uh, these Bricklink orders in there. I'm not going to take this case. I'll probably just put this in a bag. Once I get there, I'll sort these by theme in my bins I have um, underneath my minifigure stands. So it's got th those two bags, this <laughs> full of minifigs that I got to get in there and this so I think we're good I think we're gonna be fine I also found these parts hoping uh, the torso is a, there's a great chance it cracks when I put the arms in just as I suspected as soon as I clipped it in snap bang this one do the same thing yep it cracked as soon as I clipped it in, bummer. Well, I can still sell a torso. All right, I can still sell them complete cracked torso if I get ahead. All right, I'm ready as I'll ever be, Lloyd says. We're heading out of here. I'm gonna get try to get these into plastic bags. Um, oh, I didn't go through these yet. I'll just probably just take this whole thing. Maybe I'll just dump those in here with it. So, I got a ton of stuff. Good. Doing good. And, uh, glad I was glad to add some more Star Wars because you never know. All the time, I feel like I never have enough Star Wars at all of these because they just sell so fast. And I, I, when I get good ones, I put them right on line, they sell fast as well. So, and, uh, that's it. So we're gonna, I'll probably film some uh, orders in the morning, but there's my uh, other collections. They have to go. All right, I got two bags of minifigs in there. All the Brooklyn quarters are in this one. And I don't have room for that. This is my refills for uh, build a minifig station, which is, this one might do better in there than that one. I got my label maker under this, so that was the big thing I needed to figure out. I don't need to take that set, but we don't want dots anymore. So that is there. These trays are taking up a lot of space. Maybe they take them out of there, kind of carry them around, or set them on top of something. I, 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 in theory, I do have lots of room on the top of these. It'll just knock minifigs off the stand if I need to use it for the right the way there. 
because I'll be leaving with a lot less stuff. <laughs> this corner here will be gone. Birth and quarters right away. These will all be gone. Uh, you know, those mini fake bags we put away, not in there, because on the way home. So, yeah. We're about ready. What am I forgetting? Got my sign over there, the new sign all set. It didn't have the grommets, but I just drilled a small hole and it seemed to be, it's very strong. It's got like four layers there. So, yeah. Well, I gotta get this in there too. And that, and that. Uh-oh, we have room in this one. I'll just, I'm just gonna have to probably leave something out and carry it by hand. Or actually, these can go on top of the mini fix stand. This one, I'll put it right over here. That basket can go in the mini fix stand too. So, we'll get there. Finish it up later. All right, back from the beach. We're hanging out. It's just super hot out there. Star was coming, so we came home. Then we dropped off the mail. And I thought City Boba Fett is on the way. Just two hours west of me. That's what's going on in Wisconsin. So, one order. Looks like awesome parts in there. Not sure I came here. I must have came for these Infomaniac heads. Some Zerg legs. Wouldn't you believe it? I was just thinking about it. I spent well over a thousand dollars on these dogs. It's not this order, but this is like my fourth order I've ever done this. Fourth time I've done this. I'm trying to corner the market on uh, dark purple spaceman. I don't know. I have a whole bunch of other aliens coming as well again. Uh, I just need to get. Oh. Oh, I did get them. I was looking for dark purple arms, and I bought a torso from a store that had a dark purple arms for like 50 cents a torso or something. It was pretty cheap for each pair of arms. And they're CMF quality arms as well, so that's even better. So it goes with the CMF quality Spaceman torso. So I won't be doing this before Chicago. I think I have a couple in my Chicago bin of these. But yeah, great stuff. Great tough. Great stuff. Down to our last tote to take up. Just checking my list. I just crossed off a lot. And my binders here with all the paperwork and just email. I put all the emails, so if we're on the road, I want to look at it without trying to find it in my phone. There's that. And we have Lloyd. Can't forget him. I'm afraid I'm going to forget him this time. I haven't forgotten the last two, but um, I got to make two new signs, pricing signs, and laminate those. I'm going to do that now at 5.30. Wednesday night, so getting down to it. There's a big thunderstorm coming here. It doesn't take us out, but gotta do some video editing too. No alarm wake up today. Maybe leave for Chicago. All right, the eBay orders are down. Five cards. Had a mess to clean up. It's still extremely early. I have a 200 lot prickle vertical. <laughs> I leave this morning. All right, here we go. What's oh, the damage? Oh, I didn't have any on Brickell. Look at that. Do I even need to close that store? I'm not closing any stores, so I'll just leave it open. 240 lots, 300. Nice. Six orders, let's do it. Halfway point. It's 199 lot orders. So we're on number 103 we just did. Yep, they're right there. Space bar it to the next. Four, three, six, 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 six five. So we're getting there. Six twenty seven AM. Computer. Yeah, I might go for a run. It's early. We're not just scheduled to uh, take the dog out of here about 10 to 9. So I'm all packed up, ready to go pretty much.
Thank you.